Welcome back, Rockstars, to a brand new series. If you're a big fan of the Last Days of Humanity series, make sure you stick around to watch this one, because trust me, you're going to love this one as well. After all the commotion, the way the Last Days was going on, I figured it was better to start a brand new mod pack, and that you guys were still okay with that, because you guys were more interested in the Parasites mod overall. So welcome to our full, just, playthrough of the Parasites mod. So it doesn't have all the Last Days of Humanity effects, but it does have the fully updated, the latest version I could find of the Parasite. I don't know what this is, and I don't like it. I really don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Outside of the regular latest version of the Parasite mod, I also have Project E Block Armors and Mr. Crayfish's gun mod in here, all to help us out because after doing a lot of reading up, we realized how difficult this mod really gets later on, and after you get past phase like two or three, it really just ramps up quickly. What's really interesting in this version too as well, because I don't know if this is the Parasite mod itself, because it wasn't in last days, but we actually have water it looks like to deal with, which is something I've never done before in Minecraft, so this is going to be really interesting. So obviously we're starting off at the beginning again, so the parasite's gonna be very low spawning and very low count. Outside of a basic read-up, I don't know a whole lot about their spawning. I wanted a lot of it to be a lot of fun and surprise. But I got how the general idea works, just so I do understand how it goes. So we are in the middle of three different biomes right now. I think we stick to building in this biome just because of the amount of wood. I do want to be near the desert biome for cactus though. I am very curious about this, so I think we might check this out in another episode once we have armor and stuff. For now, we need to get a basic shelter set up. Now I do have have a mind and plan on how I want to build this base after the experience of last days in humanity. If you guys haven't checked that out and you're watching this, I currently highly recommend checking that out if you're a big fan of the Parasites mod pack or just survival mod packs in general. I'll try to remember to leave a playlist link in the description down below. So can I just jump in water to drink? Does that work? How do I do this? I can't just drink it. So we're gonna grab some glass to try to make a water bottle to drink out of. And I know this is a crappy base for now, but for now we're more important on just getting resources than absolutely anything else. So we can work on the actual defenses of our home later. All right, let's see if this works. Please let me drink and ooh, I didn't like that. Okay, so we have thirst now. So I'm assuming we need to purify it somehow into fire first. But now that we know that, we shouldn't have a problem with it. Another reason that we want to say probably right here for water source. So let's see what happens when it comes out of this because we do have purified water bottle, which is exactly what we got. Okay, so now we know how to drink, which isn't too bad at all as long as we actually just stayed near a water source and that's perfect. It heals most of our water at one go. Something we can do to give ourselves a little protection though is because we have block armor i can literally make cobblestone armor because when i was reading up once you get to phase like seven apparently you should just basically give up on your world like it's not point it's not pointless anymore like it's that tough so i added all the extra mods to hopefully give us a little bit of an extra chance because we can't get bedrock but we can get obsidian which both give health boost so that's kind of my idea and in going into it and hoping that the health boost with anything else that we can do to protect ourselves might be enough just to give a little bit of a fight but we have half armor points or a little over it so i will take that but i don't remember how to get lit torches anymore so one of the big things is when you sleep you get a lot of extra points and it gets higher and higher each night you go so i think we're gonna try to avoid the first night of sleeping and just go mining for a while at this point i have enough iron to get me some iron armor i was looking for a cave that i kept hearing skeletons and spiders in but at this point it's not worth it well that's melts up i'm gonna clear out a massive area so we can get a flat space working for our home because i think building right next to the water and being a part of that is gonna be massive for us. Plus, clearing out trees is super nice because one of the mods when you break the bottom of the tree with an axe just gets rid of the entire tree. I don't like that it's already becoming night two or three. I've slept once or twice, which is scary. And I now know that anytime we get a number in chat, that means that's what phase we're in. And there are eight phases. There we go with iron tools made. We can now start making up some of our armor, making us just a lot stronger overall and get rid of this cobblestone. And pretty much this is a survival series, so it's not like crazy craft. I will not be collecting all the armors because that will just make me kill myself over time. It's all about being strong, not about it being a collector. And I am literally one iron short for my helmet, or two iron short. That is ridiculous. Okay, we'll just deal with it for now. At least we can still make ourselves a sword. I do want to set up my home nearby here, but I don't want know if I want to set it up right across from that. So we probably want to check that out before we get anything else really done. Okay, next we can make a shield in 1.12.2. Yes, yes we can. Okay, I always get my versions mixed up sometimes because I never play really in the middle between when it switched over. All right, I'm gonna get more water and torches and i want to check out that dungeon so i know if we can build near it or not okay we're all stocked up let's go inside we've got plenty of extra water getting cooked up as well okay so this is definitely not safe whatsoever but good thing we came prepared i hope it's not too unsafe okay so there's a spawner there but there's chest down there so there is loot that is really good okay there's a staircase here which oh ooh, ooh, okay nope 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 oh, okay we gotta stick it step back shield up shield up shield up okay we got the zombie we just got three skeletons 
lessons to deal with now somehow. Okay, let's close in on one of them at a time. Okay, let's take down this guy. Let's get him knocked down. There we go. It sounds like the other skeletons are fighting each other. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we can finish this guy off. Okay, block and swing, block and swing. Come on. There we go. Finished him off. Okay, we're going to eat to regen. Okay, then I'm also going to go ahead and mine this staircase up real quick. Easy peasy. So they can't get up and down now. I want to break the spawner. I can't break the spawner from here. I need to get one block lower. There we go. Spawner is broken. Okay, shield up as we go down. Ooh, a free bow. There we go. Oh, lots of zombies. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. They're getting shot by skeletons. Okay, they're getting pushed each other down. That's fine. We just want to go ahead and take them on one at a time. Skeleton behind me, though, is not good. And there's another spawner in the other corner. Okay, we can get this spawner real easy. And there we go. What is this stuff? Okay, this is... What is this? Ignis Business Crystal. Your fingers tingle strangely. You handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe the rest will inspire you. Okay, that is interesting. Well, it doesn't seem to do damage or harm. So we can go ahead and pick it up for now. If anything changes, though, we can always put it back. Okay, these are the last of them. So this is interesting. We can just jump down here, shield up, and take these guys on pretty easily. And there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Finish you off. Bye-bye, Skeleton. Oh god, I accidentally opened the chest and it blew up. I wasn't ready for that. I thought I heard something, but okay, okay. Well, we got lucky there. It wasn't as bit of an explosion. Oh, golden apple, some iron, a melon seeds, redstone, a bucket. Okay, so decent loot, nothing crazy. What are these things? I'm, I'm almost afraid to break them. Oh, more gold. Or not more gold, gold. Lingering potion of invisibility. 45 seconds of invisibility. Interesting. And we got all these gems or crystals. Well, we've taken out all the spawners, so it's clearly safe to go here now, which is nice. And it's nighttime. Let's go to sleep real quick. I didn't think that was gonna be that short what just fell out of my inventory that what strange dreams i had a dream last night in the dream i took three of those strange crystals i've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint the crystals had to be different types but if i did it properly then the result was strange glowing dust in the dream i took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase but the dream ended before i saw what happened i wonder what should the dream show i have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but dangerous well we can figure more about the crystals later but first we need a lot better house now that we know we can build around here it's good to stay by the river because even though we can make our own infinite water source it's just good to have one close by plus we want to be close to the desert so so far i'm not really working on the house itself mainly just the landscape because this is annoying me i love flat ground to work with and oh there's a lava pool i didn't even realize that's amazing but this giant crater here i kind of want to fill in and get rid of a whole bunch of trees so we have massive sight lines there's actually no real technical point to do it outside the things to look kind of nice But I still want it because it will give us a little bit of a viewing in case anything comes for us Well, the hole is being slowly filled in is it a waste of time most likely But on a positive note it will speed up the process of getting parasites here So we have a lot more danger and a lot more fun a lot quickly besides I really can't stand out to build in a flat area at least in my main home Plus we're gonna have walls and defenses and stuff like that at some point or another So we're gonna have to you know actually do this so we we have space anyways unless we just want to build our defenses inside a massive hole in the ground next to our house okay so this is what i've gotten so far and it kind of looks stupid but for now it's going to make sense so first of all we have to remember that unlit torches they do go out or lit torches go out at one point or another and as stupid as this may look it's going to be a lot better than you guys might hope for it to be see because this flat and land is all flat now we have so much room for base so this outer line right here is going to be a basis for a wall we have it six feet out so it's not too big it's only the first layer of the wall we need room for crops and farms and pigs and stuff so we need that to go on an outer layer while this layer is our fallback safety zone similar to the base we had in the last days these will be replaced with slabs and there will be slabs up there so we have a shooty out area with this it's going to give us a lot of defense opportunities and it's going to be really really good for us because i did work out an entire base plan that i do want to actually build out like i drew it out on paper and everything because i know how the parasites get after the last day series so this is going to be a, a lot of expensive work because what i know from basic math is that we need at least for my my plans around 200 and 220 plus 225 plus obsidian blocks which is absolutely insane which is so much so that's where i'm really hoping project e will come in a big help for us see switching from last days we did lose a lot of the things that we got used to to trying to fight with the parasites like our auto defense turrets we don't have so we have to come up with new base defenses to actually be able to defend ourselves if we want a chance well, Rock Stars, with a basic base setup and some armor, I think it's a great place to end off our first episode of the Escape and Run Parasite Survival. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy, and I'll see y'all next time, Rock Stars. Peace, peace.